Geordie Dread TV, welcome back. This pre-season is never ending. It's like game after game. And there's more games to come. At first, like I said before in my other videos, wasn't really liking the fact of playing these Premier League teams. Too much intensity. Everyone wants to show their worth. And players can get injured, etc., etc. But you know what? Looking at, looking at the last few games, for someone like us, Newcastle United, it makes sense. Because you know what? I want to go into the season full throttle, ready to go. I've been crazy impressed with Lewis Miley, 17 years old. For me, the last match with Chelsea, played the game for my season at 17 years old. Anderson's been on fire. Anderson ain't playing no games. What is he, 20 years old? He's pushing. And that's what I like. You can buy new players, the Tonalis, etc., etc., the Brunos. But you know what? At this moment in time, in preseason, it's the Andersons, the Miley's, and Anthony Gordon is on fire. And long may it continue into the season. We can't keep up form for the whole season. That can happen, but he's ready. And it fits Anthony Gordon's narrative when he says, when he came to Newcastle United, everything else going on, going on at Everton with the whole, you know, the whole social media and the attention. The fact that he came in and he said openly, he he was he was overwhelmed. He wasn't ready. The intensity was crazy. The whole regime, style of play, the training is different. And that's no disrespect to Everton. It's not about that. It's not about Everton not doing what they're doing right. It's just going to any team and it's different. And he's young. The whole environment. Then he got injured. Frustration. You could tell he's a passionate player. Hearts on his sleeve. But he ain't playing. From the Euros. Player of the Euros. Of the under-21s. He won the Euros. Player of the, of the tournament. And he just carried on. He's looking serious. Along with Anderson and, and some others. But the young players, he's looking serious. The way he assisted for that game against Chelsea for Armouron. Miggy. Miggy's just doing Miggy. He's not playing games. He's ready as well. Back at Atlanta, his old club. That meant a lot to him and whoever was watching, old fans, just the, the, the neutral fans. The fact that I like the way Anthony, that goal, he was more about Anthony Gordon than Amaron's goal. The nice slot, typical Miggy slot. But the way Gordon pushed and pushed forward, about to pass it, kind of shimmied it. Half to the shoulder, carried on running. Beautiful assist for Miggy. But let's be honest. It's preseason. It's preseason. That's the whole point of learning different tactics or just getting some time and some intensity under your belt. But that goal by Chelsea, our usual standards is better than that. So the Botman's fault is just the way. It wasn't that quick. It wasn't that fast. So it just shows that we were a bit sluggish. Off the pace that that little free ball went through, and then before you know it, Jackson scores his goal. And to be honest, Chelsea are looking pretty decent right now. Ish, I'm not saying they're going to necessarily challenge, but the question is, are they going to challenge for the top four? So at the midfield, who knows? But they've got some real strike forces. But anyway, back to Newcastle United. We haven't lost a game yet. High intensity. Getting on to Tonali. People keep... For me, no one's... I know is, is dissing him or anything malicious, but there's too much attention on him. Yes, in my head and behind the scenes, I wanted them to say, a little bit off in the last game, a little bit off in this game. But to be honest, so is Bruno. Bruno's looking real off, in my opinion. Does he start in the beginning of the season? Who knows? Competitive games are different, I understand, but the intensity of these preseason games and to show your worth and to want to get a place in the team. And that's what Bruno's been a bit off. Tonali's been off, but they get a little pass. All players get a pass, really, ish, but Tonali gets a pass. So there's too much attention on him when we say, oh, he looked off today, he looked off. Yeah, he does. We can say our opinion. But it's just too much of saying it because, in my opinion, 
He just moves there. He hasn't had a chance to sit in yet. Then he's off to America. He's got to take all the information in. That will take time, like other players said themselves. The Gordons and players that were there before, and it takes time to get into Eddie's ways, the intensity, the fitness, etc. He's learning a new language. He's learning quite quick. He's got to settle with his family, his wife, or girlfriend, etc. Gone to America, and he's been put in the deep end. He's just playing and playing. And that's the whole point of the preseasons. So I'm going to put nothing on him. I'm going to put nothing on him. We know what he can do. Yes, we saw it against, was it Rangers? You say, oh, it's Rangers, but it's not disrespect Rangers too much. But he's been put in the deep end. In a different tactical, when we play that different tactics to try things out. The other day against um, Villa, back to the 4 3 3. I've put up the, um, the formation from the beginning of the video. Isaac up front, I'm um, Ronald Gordon. Tonali, Tonali was in that 4 that four three three. As he started off with, I think, against Gateshead. Did he come on against Gateshead? He was playing against Gateshead. Yeah, so nothing to worry about too tough. I saw a lot of positives with the youngsters, etc., etc. So it's pre-season. We ain't lost yet. And even if he did lose, so be it. It's all about how you lose. I see what Eddie's trying to do. I can, I can see the players getting some time and energy under their belt, some fitness. Keen Tripper gave the ball a few times away in the Chelsea game. But it is what it is. Some say Isaac was a bit, mm, but I ain't looking too much into it. And the season ain't, the preseason ain't ended and the transfer window ain't ended. Hopefully, you can get Livermento through, through, the, through, the, through the door. 30 mil sounds a bit mad. Now he's going up to 40, apparently. I don't know. But my eyes, for the whole season, I like Dan Byrne. But for the whole season, we need a left back. Maybe, maybe another centre back. A right back, apparently, Ashby might, might go alone or not. Well, either way, right back. Just for squad depth. And he said it himself after the game. We need some more squad depth. And I like to think, why not just another striker or centre forward? But I'd love to hear your thoughts. Said enough. I've been enjoying all the games. I enjoyed the Chelsea game. Tough opponent. And in the end, we held our own. Didn't concede too much. Nick Pope. Big shout out to Nick Pope. Believe we've got to keep him fit. He made some ridiculous saves. As he usually does. We've got to keep him fit. Which really on challenge on challenge on all fronts. Big shout out to Nick Pope. I love what Newcastle United is doing. And that's all I care about. Truly Dread TV. Appreciate the likes and subscribers and support as usual and engagement. If you want to sub, it's free. I'd appreciate. Like. Engage in the comments. Peace.